Greetings, peace, love, and wellness, my friends. I am Samari of Ready to Enlighten. And today, we are going to do some yoga to get some energy flowing through our body. So if that's something you want to do, grab your mat and let's get started. I also want to announce that I do make crystal Reiki-infused bracelets and necklaces and candles. So if that's something you're interested in, the link will be in the description bar. So let's get started. We'll first start off in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Here, we will have our feet planted to the ground, arms out to the side, space in the arms, fingers spread wide, shoulders relaxed. And here, we will take some deep clearing breaths. So we'll take a deep inhale, and exhale. Again, another deep inhale through the nostrils and exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale completely. Now, just allow ourselves to be present. Feel our body. Rooted into the ground, feel our bone structure strong and healthy. And also take a minute to release anything that happened before the practice, any wandering mind, thoughts, or ideas. Let's rest them on the mat at this time. And when you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale and expand our hands up towards the sky. As we inhale and exhale, release it back down. Again, another deep inhale. Lifting the chest, reaching up through the fingertips. Exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Expanding in the chest, exhale. This time we'll take our right leg and cross it across that left leg. Pivot our hips forward, tuck it in our pelvis, and reach again. Inhale, reach it up. And this time we will interlace our fingertips, fingers, and turn them outward and exhale while we're reaching back into a small back bend. And release it down. Get the opposite side. Cross that left across the right. Pivot the hips forward. Tuck in the pelvis. Inhale, reaching up. Interlace those fingertips. Turn it out. Exhale, bend back. And releasing ourselves back down. We'll do that again on the opposite side. Deep inhale. And then release. Again on the left, crossing, inhale up. And release. Now let's just walk our legs out. And we'll roll our shoulders back. Just really tap it into the shoulders, releasing any pressure and stagnation or knots that we feel in our body. Consciously breathing as we roll out our shoulders. Now let's take our arms and expand it out like we're creating a big ball and then close it. Again, open, expand. Close, open, close, and open wide, and close. And let's go diagonally, opening up the chest, closing. And feel free to go at your own pace if you want to speed it up or slow it down. 
We're just activating this solar plexus. That's where all our energy is. Right here, just above the navel. We are pumping through the chest, opening, expanding that solar plexus, our energy center. And we'll release that. Let's come at the top of the mat. And we'll do some sun salutations here. We'll take a deep inhale, lifting our arms up again. Exhale, we'll fold forward, diving down towards the floor, hinging from the hips, lean forward. Here, when we lean forward, keep a slight bend in your knees. Don't lock out your knees, just breathe here. And let's take a moment and fold our hands here and just hang out. Allowing any thoughts and, and to fall out our head, out the top of our head here. This is a great pose to relieve any blood pressure, um, stress, anxiety. Just relieve, release it from the crown. And you can release your hands here. We'll come up halfway, flat back, look forward. And on our exhale, we'll put both hands to the mat, slightly bend our knees, step our feet back in chaturanga, like a push-up pose. Here, we will lower down, let our legs rest onto the floor, and float up our chest, arching in our back, shoulders back. Really cap it into that solar plexus. Now our chest is lifted, our solar plexus should be lifted from the floor. Pelvis to the floor. Breathe here. And we'll gently twist looking towards the uh, to the right. Then gently twist looking towards the left. Then we will untuck our toes and shift our weight back into our hips, lifting the hips off the floor into a downward dog here. Here we will walk ourselves out, walking the legs, bend one, straighten the other. Breathe here. And when you're ready, we'll walk, step, or jump your feet up in between your palms. Fold here. And if you want to take a deeper fold, go ahead and grab the back of your leg and let your head come to your shin. And release. Come up halfway again. Flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold. And when you're ready, we'll hands from the hip rise up again, arms powerfully reaching toward the sky. We'll take a back bend here. Bring our arms to a prayer mudra and bring that energy down to the center into our heart space. We'll take a deep inhale, exhale, and release that. Breathing. Now we will do that sun salutation again. We we'll move it a little bit quicker, bring in more energy. Okay? We'll take a deep inhale, float up, exhale, hands from the hip, dive down toward the floor. Come up halfway, flat back, tabletop, look forward. Exhale, bring your both hands to the floor, flat. Bend your knees, step, walk or jump, both feet back, lower down. Untuck tuck our toes, float up into the upward dog. Pelvis to the floor, chest lifted, arts, shoulders back, untuck our toes, push our hips up into downward dog, walking myself out here for five breaths and breathe. Two more breaths. Really keep our back flat, turn ourselves to upside down B. Let's release the walking and just sit here for one more breath. And when you're ready, step, walk, and jump your feet up in between your palms. Fold, come up halfway, flat back, tabletop, exhale, fold. And when you're ready, we'll take that swooping arms up towards the sky again. Lean back, hands to pray mudra, shut that energy down in your center. Take a deep inhale, exhale, release. We'll do that one more time. 
Okay. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Dive down towards the floor. Inhale, come up to your hands on the shin. Flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold. Hands flat to the floor. Step, walk, or jump those feet back. We're going to lower down. Inhale, tuck the toes up. Roll up. Shoulders lifted. Chest, shoulders back. Chest lifted. Inhale, exhale. Push back into that upside down V. Walking myself out. And breathe. Yes. Feel that fire in your stomach. Feel that power in your body. Let's sit here for two more breaths. Powerfully breathe. Allow that energy to flow through your body. Feel the energy in your body. And when you're ready, step, walk, or jump both feet up in between your palms. Exhale, fold. Come up halfway. Back, back, tabletop, look forward. Exhale, fold. And when you're ready, take a deep inhale, lifting up towards the sky. Taking that back bend. And bring that energy down the center to your heart space. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale and release that. Now we'll take this right foot and bring this right foot back. And come on to that right knee, like coming into a kneel. And we will keep enough space in between where we can keep this left knee bent without expanding the knee over the left foot. Now we will extend our arms up into the air and bend at the elbows, bringing the elbows down, bringing the hands to the head face and opening up the chest, breathe here. Inhaling, exhaling, opening the lungs, expanding the heart, opening up the shoulders, breathe here. And when you're ready, we'll bring our hands back forward into a prayer mudra and twist open, bringing this right elbow to the right, to the left knee as we twist open. Twisting our back. Connecting it to our abs. And we'll release. And we'll switch. We'll bring that left knee down. Bring it that right knee up. Again, keeping it at that angle where it's not extending past the right knee. Lifting our hands up, reaching to the fingertips. And bend at the elbow, bringing the hands down to the head space. And open it up the chest. Breathe here. Expanding the lungs. Opening the heart. And then let's bring our hands to a prayer mudra again. Twisting open, bringing that left elbow to that right knee and twist open. Breathe here. And let's release that, push back forward, and let's bring both knees down here. And let's bring, push our weight back, bringing the buttocks to the foot. And we will sit here in hero pose and just breathe, bringing both hands to the lap and breathe. If this is difficult for you, feel free to put a pillow or a, um, a bolster or block in between your, your legs or for something to sit on for support if this is causing any discomfort or pain. We'll breathe here. Then we will slowly release our hands to the mat and walk our hands back behind us so we could lift up our hips, lift up the pelvis, lift up the um, chest into the air, allow our head to hang back heavy, breathe. And let's release ourselves back up, walking our hands back. 
and come into a seated position. Here, we will bring this right knee closest to our body. Then take this right foot and bring it across this left foot leg. Bring it in the area where the knee is. Then take this left knee, bend at the left knee, and bring that left foot towards our butt. So I'll turn forward so you can see. So this right foot is planted flat to the floor, left foot laying on the side towards the butt. Now we'll take this right hand back for support and bring our left hand and chop it across this knee, that right knee, twisting open more. This is great for activating the digestive system, giving our internal organs a hug, a twist, get things moving on the inside. Breathe. Inhaling, exhaling. Feel the breath move through your body. And we'll release that. Untwist ourselves, walk our legs out a little bit, and we'll get the opposite side. So we'll bring this left knee closest to our body, left leg towards our body. And pick it up and bring it across that right leg, keeping it as the near area where the knee is. Bend his right leg at the knee, bringing that right foot towards our butt. Again, I'll turn so you'll see. So you should be able to see the front of the right foot, and this one planted flat to the ground. And take this left hand back for support, twist open with the right hand. Breathe, breathe. Just allow, surrender. Mm. And when you're ready, we'll release that. Now we'll release that, shake that out. And breathe. Now let's come on to our back. Here we lift both feet into the air, keeping our little hands flat to the ground and just breathe here. Roll ourselves down and release our hands. From here, we're going to do some small bridge poses. So we'll keep our hands flat to the mat and gently lift up our hips and pelvis off the floor. Again, chest is lifted. Bring our shoulders together as if you want them to touch. Just to give us a lift. Breathe. And slowly let ourselves down vertebrae by vertebrae. And allow our legs to fall out wide, feet together to touch. And breathe. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the ground, but if they do, that's fine. It's perfect. Breathe here. Now let's gently close our knees, bring our knees to our chest, hugging our to ourselves, gently rocking from side to side. And then allow our knees to fall over onto the right side. Bringing our left hand on top of that left knee, bringing our left hand up and across. And as this hand comes across, watch it with your gaze and twist open on with your head onto the left side. Head and arm and shoulders and back should be on the floor. And if your knees feel like it's coming off the floor, use your right hand to hold it down.
We begin to wind down here. Then gently bring your knees again to the center, rolling on our back again. Allow our knees to fall over onto the left, the left side, bringing our right hand up and across. Again, watching it as it goes across and fall over onto the right. And again, use that hand to hold it down if you feel like your feet are lifting, your knees are lifting off the ground, your back should be flat. If it's not, just feel wherever you're at is perfect. I mean, your shoulders should be on the ground. And come back up at the center, rolling myself out again. And we'll release our legs out straight for the favorite yoga pose, which is Savasana, which is conscious resting. And here we will allow that energy to circulate through our body. All that work we get put in today, let it integrate. So we should surrender and allow to be consciously rested. Feel free to stay in Savasana as long as you want to. But if you're ready to come out, begin to wiggle your fingers, and wiggle your toes. Begin to take inhales and exhale, clearing breaths. Begin to rotate your ankles and rotate your wrists, bring your whole belly back into your body. Give yourself a big stretch as if you're just waking up in the morning and rock yourself into a seated position. And at this time, I would like to bow to you. Thank you for clicking onto this video and sharing your practice with me today. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share the video with a friend. And um, until next time, peace, love, and wellness.